we have created our spider, sent a request to a URL, and also got a response in the parse method. Now we can go ahead and select the data we want from the response object, which we get in the parse method. So in this lesson, we will select the data which we want, that is inside of our website, we want all of the products, title, and the price. So let's see how can we do that in this lesson. First of all, we need to know what is HTML code behind this website and what are CSS selectors. We will use CSS selectors to select a web element and Scrapy to extract the information we want from the same. So first of all, what we need to do is see what is the HTML code behind this website. To do that, I will suggest you to open the website in the Chrome browser like me and then open the Chrome developer tools, which is right under the menu that is in the menu. We have a more tools option inside of the more tools. We have Chrome developer tools. That is this right here. If I click on the same, it will bring up the HTML code of the website. Now, if you're visiting this for the first time, it may look scary at first, but this is just the HTML code of the website right here. That is, if I hover over anything, you will see the equivalent element gets highlighted. That is this head element, that is this right here, gets highlighted on the left side, that is our website as well. So using the Chrome developer tools, we can see the code behind a certain object, like let's say this title right here. And to do that, I can use this inspector tool. So I'll use it. And then if I hover over our title, you can see the code gets highlighted. And now you will see that it is inside of a, a tag, that is a link element. And that link element is inside of a H3 tag or a header element. So using this, we can use CSS selectors to select this element and extract its data with Scrapy. So let's see how can we select a element with CSS selectors. And here we can just use the tag names of the elements. That is this H3 has a tag name of H3. That is this right here. And this A tag has a tag name of A that is just right here. So we will use this in CSS selector to select these elements. Back to our spider to select a element using CSS selectors, we use the response object. That is, we will use the response object and on the same, we'll use the CSS method. To the CSS method, we can provide a CSS selector, which in turn will select a web element which we want and then return us. So here we can provide it a string of the element we want to select. That is again, we want to select a, a tag, which is inside of H3. So we start from the first, that is the parent H3 here. So we will just use the tag name of the header element, that is H3. And then inside of this H3, we want to select a element that has a, a tag name, that is a link element. So we will use a space and after a space, we'll use the A like this. That is the tag name for our link element. This is how we write a basic CSS selector. Of course, we'll look more into CSS selectors in the upcoming section. But for now, this is how we can select the A tag using the CSS selectors. That is, we select a A tag, that is the link element, inside of the header element, which is H3 tag name. Now, what we can do is select this using the selector. And to get the actual data, we can use the dot get method to get the actual data. So to see what we have selected, let's just go ahead and print the output. So we can see what we have selected. And then we can run our spider that is scrapey crawl the ebook spider. Let it run. And now if I scroll a bit, that is here, you can see we have the parse which marks the start of our parse method right here. And then under this, you will find the a tag HTML code. That is, we have the a element with the href of the link, etc., and the title, which is a light in the attack. Now you will see that this is the just this is just the same as our HTML code right here. That is the a tag, the href, and the title, which is a light in the attic. 
So we have successfully selected the element we wanted using the CSS selector. That is, here what we did is used the response which has the whole HTML code, the CSS method to provide a CSS selector that is a link element with the a tag name inside of the header element with the h3 tag name. And then as mentioned earlier, this will provide us the selector for that element and to get the actual data, we use the get method. Now here, what we want to do is get the text, not the HTML code. That is, I only want the title of the product that is a light in the attic, not this HTML tags. That is the closing tag and the opening tag. To do that, we can use a special CSS selector that is a pseudo element selector. To do that, we'll use two colons after the element that is after this a tag, we will set two colons because we want to select its inner element, which will be the text in this case. Using the same, we can select other attributes as well. Again, we'll look more into them in the upcoming lectures. So using two colons, we select its text and now if we use the get method on the same, we will only get the inner text. So if I go ahead and run the spider again, using the same command, let it run. And now if I take a look at the logs, you can see we have the parse, that is the start of a parse method, and then the title, that is a light in the attic. Of course, most of it is emitted, but this is how we get the title of the product which we want. So we have selected the data we want, that is the title of the product. And similarly, we can go ahead and select the price as well. And now one thing to note here is that there are a lot of products. That is, we have total of 20 products in this page, which have its own title. So in the next lesson, we will see how to select each product and its title and price. So see you in the next lesson.